Hey you, it's me Curtis P. Hello everyone and a happy day today as I'm back building another room inside of The Sims 4. Let's jump right into this. Now yesterday I did a brand new Sims 4 small patio. So I thought today that we would do a sort of larger patio which would be kind of a fun thing to have in our Sims home. So um, let's just jump right into that. Let's build ourselves a larger patio. So um, the way I want to do this, I want to have, we're going to start with like a really cool, fun little back wall for our Sims house. Um, something a little different, something not uh, usual is what I kind of want to do here. Um, what else do I want? I want, well, first things first, I'm going to actually just draw out <clears throat> using the new wall tool, which I've apparently figured out how to actually use this time, because last time I wasn't using it properly. Um, we're gonna actually draw out how this all works. So I'm gonna put it kind of to there, and then we're gonna have it come over like this. I'm gonna have it go up, go in, there, there. Presumably this is where a pool would be. Um, is right around in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over and actually I don't want it to be, can we undo this? I wanna go back. No, no, how do I go back? That's weird. Well, let's just do it like that for right now. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, now we have a room. We have ourselves a room, which is good. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so the idea is that there will be a pool that will go right here. You'd have to place your own pool there, but um, you can have a pool that will go in that sort of area. Um, what we're gonna do first things first is actually replace a lot of the walls with this brand new um, sort of thing here. Um, let's see here, let's move that up. So what I actually wanna do is, I don't wanna have, <clears throat> I wanna just like not have any wall that sort of goes around in this area here. Just like this, perfect like that, that looks good. All right, so it's still technically a room, which was the problem I had yesterday, but um, it has this little sort of border around the bottom of it, which kind of separates it, which is nice. <coughs> All right, so um, inside of here, I want, first things first, we're gonna put in some windows here, uh, just some simplified windows. Window, 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 and I am going to grab that, and just sort of move that down. There we go, window, window, window. We're gonna put in a door. Window, 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 door. Window, door. Uh, so we're gonna put in a nice little, I like that door better, that kind of fits. Um, we're gonna go with sort of a, I think I went with a brick last time. We could go with like a rock wall. No, I don't wanna go with a rock wall. Maybe we'll just go with like a traditional like siding for this one, something that's more traditional, like a blue. It's kind of nice-ish. And we'll retexturize this to be sort of a, there we go. That looks nice, like that. And we'll put in one more larger window over here, maybe like a bay window or something that goes, or it could do another, I don't really know. I assume this is like part of your kind of like a kitchen or something on your house. So we could do like that. And I think I can texture this to be the same. Oops, that's not the same. There we go. All right, cool. So there we go. Back of the house. Um, let's do some flooring. Flooring is key, key to flooring. Let's get rid of the grid there because I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that anymore. No more grid, no more grid for me. Let's use, not that one, no. That one's not bad, if I could find it like another, I could do white. I feel like white is kind of weird. Maybe I'll do like a brick, um, kind of like a, like a field stone sort of look in the backyard. That's nice, I like that. I like that, that looks good. Um, all right, so let's grab, if I do this, can I actually put a tree in the background? No, I don't really know. Um, so we've got that, let's jump into the objects here. Into the objects, the world of objects. Let's go into comfort and seating. 
So let's find a new seat. So when you come out, I kind of want you to, I want there to be a table in the middle. So let's sort of grab this first things first. I do want there to be like a really nice, let's go filter objects. I do kind of want just sort of uh, perfect patio based objects here. Um, let's just go all objects just so I can find everything that I need. Here we go. So we've got this sort of um, patio table here. Um, what if we put that sort of here, but on like an angle, so it's kind of like that. And then obviously we'll have some chairs that go around it. Bloop, bloop, bloop. This will be a nice area for your Sims to sort of entertain outside, which will be kind of nice right by the, right by the projected pool that would go there. Uh, and then over on this side, I want there to be, this is where I want the barbecue to be, like that. Grab this and throw these in here. Just like that, we're gonna get rid of that piece. Substitute it obviously for a corner related item. And I'm going to delete that. And I need to turn move objects on. Oops, I spelled that wrong. Ha ha! Perfect, your cheat code is now active, thank you. Okay, and then we can move that in just like that. Um, I'm thinking something that's more of like a white sort of, uh, or we could do like more of like a brown. Mm, like a brown. I don't know if I like that. I could do like a white. Can I color match that? That's kind of similar. That's more similar, if that makes more sense. Uh, and then let's put, I do want like a corner piece that sort of just sort of finishes this off there to sort of match. Nice, there we go. So that's kind of a, a nice little outdoor area for your Sims to enjoy. Um, I do want room for a bar, presumably. Uh, maybe the bar will be over on this side or something. There's gotta be room for a hot tub too. We gotta have room for a hot tub. That's gotta be a thing. Uh, maybe what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this a little bit bigger actually. We're gonna make it one wider on both sides, plural. And then we're gonna grab this and sort of move this down and sort of right along like that. And we're actually just gonna grab this as a whole piece, move that. Grab the other side, there we go. That's nice, that's nice. And then we're gonna put this in the middle, just like that. <clears throat> so we've got sort of this, um, yeah, kind of sticking out like that. And I think I'm gonna grab this piece and just throw this on the, actually I don't want that there. I want, what do I want here? I want, this is what I'm looking for, bloop, bloop, bloop. Something like that. Um, ooh, we could do something really cool with sort of these guys, but I'm gonna do it on an angle. So we're gonna grab this. I'm just gonna move this out of the way for right now. I'm gonna do this on like a 45. A nice 45 degree angle. <clears throat> kind of like that. And then we'll put this piece in here and this piece in there. That's kind of interesting. Um, I think I'm gonna move it out one more though, just like that there. Now your Sims will have room to sort of get around in the back, uh, which is of course important. Uh, we'll put in some stools along here, just kind of like that in the front. And I am going to have to extend this one more on each side. And we're gonna rotate this a little bit more. Actually, let's make it level, because I don't want it to sort of, there we go. So that's nice. There's a place for your Sims to like eat and entertain, and there's a place for them to sit. Um, I will retexture that momentarily. All right, um, we do need room, obviously, for the hot tub. The hot tub's a big ticket item here, so we're gonna put that on this side. And I do also actually want to sort of do, let's just replace these with kind of, I love the idea that this is sort of like a separate little area. Um, I always think that that looks really nice. Oops. Um, 
something like that. Maybe we'll put the hot tub like in the mid. No, I want it like this. I do want it right there. Now, the other question is, do I want something like that? Or is that gonna be awkward and sort of separating it? Actually, what I'm going to do, here we go, I figured it out, is I'm going to pull this back to, this is a really big backyard, quite frankly. Um, <laughs> Uh, there's lots of, there's gonna be lots of space here. Let's just grab this here, and we'll just do that for right now. I'm gonna grab this drywall here, and we're gonna retexture that. Oops, did I just undo that? There we go. Put the room back, because I don't wanna wreck the room. And then we're gonna, bloop, bloop, bloop. Much better, much better. Much burger, much burger. Uh, Let's just move this back one, same with this, and grabbing this, we'll move that right there. Perfect. So now, tweakage is happening. Go like that, go like this, select this item, replace that. We're just going to delete this wall together because I don't even want that wall anymore. These two walls there. There we go, like that, just like that. And I think for this corner piece here, um, I feel like I should fix that because I don't really want this to be like that anymore. Um, what if we do here and then I go back? That's not gonna fix it. Ugh, I hate when the room thing, like I don't know how to fill in these corners sometimes, it does that. Um, what if we just do, if I snap this there, um, then I can do like this. Uh, I can just delete this room altogether. There we go. Found a really bad solution to this problem. Oh, and then I need to push this actually back into here. Perfect, there we go. And then we're gonna grab some of this here, this piece to sort of go down there and a wall to separate that. Perfect, now I want, I think I do want some sort of like, either like wood or, what we got here? Can I do like a darker wood? What's that gonna look like? That's kinda cool, I like that. It's very much reminiscent of like a, kind of a cabin aspect to this whole thing, which is kinda cool. Uh, let's retexture this to sort of match the rest of the surrounding area. What can I, I can't really retexture that. Does this come in a different color? It does actually, it comes in like a bunch of different colors. It comes in like actually a really nice like white, which I actually kind of like, it's much lighter. And then maybe I can change this as well to sort of reflect that. Cause I think there's like a light, a far lighter wood tone here. Click, 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 we're clicking, we're applying. There we go. There we go, much nicer. So now we've got this sort of like area there. <clears throat> then we can have a general like seating area sort of in this area. Uh, maybe I'll put a couch here with some little, let's go search by this, perfect patio. Uh, let's put the that there as well. And we'll get some side plants. Put in a side plant and a side plant. And um, are there any side tables? Not really. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is just jump in. We're gonna have to go into surfaces and here, but we're gonna have to dis disregard that. Cause I need just a little side table to kind of go outside is what I'm looking for. Um, not really, no. I want something that is obviously part of the base game cause I don't wanna have different things. Hmm. Hmm, strange, strange. 
Uh, this is kind of cool. I haven't found a way to fix or put this in anywhere. Though I could put it like right here. Uh, but I don't really want it there. I saw that James put it like in the middle of his um, his actual like patio like that. And I thought that was a really cool idea. Uh, but I'm not going to steal your idea, James. Not going to do it. Not going to steal it this time. Bump, bump, bump. Ba -da -da, ba -da -da -da. All right, let's grab... Um, I do like that. I think that looks nice. It's kind of a, like a beige, a beige. Um, I do have to retexture these as well to sort of a, um, kind of like an orange. I feel like I did that in the last one. Uh, we could do something with this is actually probably a better color. It all sort of matches. Could do like a purple or a blue. Blue, I feel like, isn't it? Oh no, that was, that's green it's using as an accent color and I don't have green as an option. Which is unfortunate. I would have matched those. I thought that would have been kind of nice to color match, but oh well. Can't win everything with The Sims 4 because we don't have control over all of the different colors. Womp womp. Now there's way too much wood going on. Can I change this color to a slightly darker color? Yes, I can. Perfect. Ever so slightly darker. There we go. Much better into our daily items. Here we go, I'm gonna put the sun uh, in the afternoon, because there's weird sun last time. Um, also, I'm gonna get rid of the roof. Roof, get off of here. That's why I'm seeing all this like weird shadowing. There we go, much better. I was like, why is everything so dark? This makes no sense. Um, but that would be why. Okay, comfort, perfect patio set, all of it. Um, let's put this in here. I want like a really chill place for like Sims to just like, just relax, sit with each other. There we go. And we'll retexture these to match. Um, in the last one, I put like a rug outside and I actually really like that. I thought that looked really cool. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna do a similar sort of aspect with the rug. Let me just open this all up. Um, see if I can find one that's sort of very plain. That one's dark. It kind of actually reflects that, so it's not actually that bad. I don't mind that. Um, let's go into all of these as a whole. All. Let's go into perfect patio set here. Let's find um, this right here. So we're going to put that in right like that, which is nice. I am going to match these. Color-wise, we're gonna find the white one. Just so those are the same. Uh, we're gonna go in and put this in. I did like the, um, I did this in the last one where I put like the shrubs in the back and I thought that looked really nice. I liked that. So we're gonna do the same sort of thing here with the shrubs. I'm gonna put them in each of the corners too. So it's kind of an interesting little addition. <clears throat> it's very, um, there we go, bloop and bloop. Bloop. And whoops. Missed one more. I'm running out of time. I can see the time clicking down beside me. There we go. Much better. Very good. Very good. I do want to change the flooring in this area as well. I want bump bump bump. I want some sort of wood. Um, preferably some sort of can I do like a darker wood? There we go. That looks nice. Once again, just sort of reinforcing the idea that it's a totally different area. Um, what else do I need here? For the kitchen stuff, we do need some stuff for said kitchen. So let's go into the appliances area here, into the random other, where we can find many different objects here. Um, we're gonna go with, do we want some stuff like this? We want like a juicer outside or something. That's kind of cool. Um, decorative items, let's find some cool stuff for decorating outside. Obviously we need, um, need these guys. We'll change the color to something like that, like a blue. Um, these are really cool. They're like floor star lights. Um, they're kind of fun. We'll put these in like all around the, um, the hot tub area here. I don't know what they look like at night, but we will see momentarily. Whether they look bad or they look good, I'm not really sure. And if you don't like them, you can just delete them. Oh no, they look kind of cool. They're all just like, um, I'm gonna fill out this whole floor actually with these, these little tiny starlights. 
kind of a cool little addition. Once again, if you don't like them, you may just delete them at your will. There we go. They kind of look like they're part of the floor now because there's so many of them all over the place, so that's not too bad. I'm over time! Over time! It's a thing now. Ah, uh, let's put some wall-related things here. Decorations, show all. Back to perfect patio set. Um, these things, I was gonna integrate them into that, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, what I am gonna do is actually going to put, um, I'm gonna put these along this wall again. I love these shrubs, I think they're so nice. Um, I think they're really cool. It's a really cool little addition to the game. I'll put in some of these to accent the sort of ends here, and I am gonna sort of move this in a little bit more, just like that. There we go. I'm actually gonna move this slightly over that way. Perfect, there we go. So we've got those, they kind of just sit inside of that area. We're gonna put one of these lights on the top here in the middle. Um, we'll put another one of these plants sort of over here in the corner a little bit. We will put one on each side just to keep things nice and even. Um, these wood pieces are kind of nice, I like them. Um, we can also use this. I don't really know where to put this. Can I put it on either side? I don't really want to use it on either side. Or on both sides at the same time. Um, could do like a white. I feel like white's the only one that really shows up well. And we'll do that. We can scale this object too. Just to make it a little bit bigger. So it just kind of sits there, which is kind of nice. Um, it's another decorative item. We'll throw that over the top of there. Um, in this middle area, oh, I'm gonna put a stereo in because I do need music, electronics. I always like to have a stereo outside because I think that's like an important, crucial part. And last but certainly not least, we gotta do some lighting. So um, let's put in some side wall lights here, guys. I'm going to, um, not those, they're just so big. They look, these lights look gigantic. Those come with a different pack and I don't wanna use those. Uh, these are all right, got like a white light. Uh, I am going to move this out of the way here. Whoa, let's not grab the wall. I don't want to move the wall. Um, let's grab that and we'll put this light in over here. Kind of like that. There we go. Um, within here, I would like to put um, maybe the same thing. I'll just put these in sort of in the corners presumably to light up. There we go, that looks nice. So it lights up the whole hot tub area. Um, that area is lit up because there's lights around that. Um, yeah, there's like, there's enough lights around this that I'm not like overwhelmingly upset uh, about that. Let's go decorative items, let's go all items actually. Uh, there was one last thing, this thing. Can I fit this in behind this? Um, yes, I can actually. Let's just move this out ever so slightly and then I can just sort of, there we go and this weird like circle thing can live back there. Cool, there we go, everyone, look at that. Look at that, finished room, everything looks nice. Um, and it is an actual room, so that's a good sign compared to the last time when we built this where it wasn't a room. Um, for those wondering, if you guys do put this down and you want to add yourself a pool, you can just go in and draw yourself a super fun pool, maybe it looks something like that. That's cool, so there you go. Um, obviously the pool does not come, it comes separate, but yeah, you can just sort of add in a pool to your house as the background. Well anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed this room building video, it's super fun. If you wanna download and add this right into your game, you can, it's available on the gallery right now. There is a link in the description down below, so please check those out. Also make sure you check out the other videos that I create, there are annotations on screen right now for all of those. And of course check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash the Curtis Parody Show. I'm on Twitter at twitter.com slash Curtis Parody. You can find me on Instagram, I'm Curtis Parody. I'm also on Snapchat, which is, which is tons of fun. My username is Curtis Snaps, which is fun. A uh, bunch of uh, cool stuff there that I'm posting every single day. So please go and check those out. And of course, if you want to stay up to date on all of the future Sims 4 based content that I'm creating, make sure you subscribe for future videos. Well, until next time, everyone, I'm Curtis Parody. Have yourself a great day and happy simming.